and it looks like two ears and a hat in between. How many hours do you think this took her? They are so cute. Bree here, and my husband and I recently carved our pumpkins for Halloween this year. And I know some people carve pumpkins, some people paint pumpkins, but either way, pumpkins are a huge part of Halloween. So of course, I'm going to react to Mariah Elizabeth customizing pumpkins. Boom. Hey, it's me. Hey. Ooh. Now, I could paint on real pumpkins. Good good idea. The problem with real pumpkins is they rot and they stink. I know, it's so sad when you spend so much time carving a pumpkin and then it starts to rot. That is just a work of art crumpling before your eyes. Not that I would necessarily call any pumpkin that I carve art. I'm not that good at it, but still. A lot of hard work. Solution. Come on, guys. I got some lovely pumpkins. Shh. Fake. I, can I use suppose we'll allow it. For fall decor, and it's never going to rot on me. I know spooky and scary isn't typically my aesthetic. Well, not intentionally. But <laughs> I was thinking maybe I should at least make a small effort to do something in the realm of spooky. Yes, do something spooky. Yes, I love so, spooky um, things. Let's see. I feel like there is something missing on the top, so I'm gonna grab some air dry clay. Yeah, the stem of that pumpkin is a little sad. I am. Forming an ear. Stick it on there. Oh, it's a an ear. ear. Let's okay. Add another. There we go. Got those on pretty nice. I'll just let that dry. For now like it looks hours. like two Look ears and a hat in between. So in case you didn't realize, I'm going for like a pumpkin cat. It's not just a pumpkin. Cat, yay! Ears. It's a cat. I, went with I was hopeful. I was very I was... hopeful. I find it interesting that she's going for a brown cat instead of a black cat, since black cats are really kind of an icon of Halloween. I'm just going to sketch out the face. I mean, I'm not complaining. All cats are adorable and to red loved by me. Boy, that looks less like I do not discriminate. Cheeks. More like <laughs> cheeks have been ripped off. There's blood. There's blood everywhere. <laughs> oh, I know no. I said I was going to try spooky, but not this, this got way, way too spooky. It was never supposed to happen like this. <laughs> Let me try this again. I'm going to blend it out. For the eyes, I'm going to paint some nice, large, spooked eyes. Ooh. One is definitely larger Ooh. than the other right Ooh. now. Ooh. Scared yet? Here's where I realize one of the eyes is just a tad bit bigger than the other one. <laughs> just a uh -oh. tad! <laughs> I did make one eye much larger on purpose. I thought oh, okay. that one big bug eye would look uh, spooky. No, I think that's a good effect now that I know it's done intentionally. <laughs> I'm gonna do something really scary. It's a dead eye. Oh, oh, avert your eyes. Hide the children. Well, you know, I'm trying, okay. Let's finish out the outline of the rest of the facial features. There we go. I'm gonna add a little Oh, I, that's actually really eye. cute. I want it to be very cute in a spooky content. way, you know. Next, I'm gonna add Mariah's brand of spooky, stuff, I think. Out of its face. <laughs> I could have made this, you know, blood but i'm sorry i'm just not ready for that so i just went with some nice bright green glowing goo i don't know what it matches it his eye I say i achieved scary does it scare you because i think it's kind of cute and she kind of it is adorable it's winifred this is <laughs> winifred it is adorable while being on brand for halloween i love it hey sorry to interrupt i just wanted to let you know that I am working with Game Theory to help raise money for St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. I am so excited to be doing this. It is such a great cause. Um, you can find the campaign link in the description down below. I do have some milestones set up. My goal is to raise $1,000 to help them with their million dollar challenge. And um, I am planning on having milestones at every $100 increment. So please go check it out. And now back to your regular contents. This okay, it's going to be boy. hard to top that first that. one for me. But let's see what she does. That. I've sketched on some nice loose squares all over the pumpkin. And I'm going to get out my custom mixed acrylic paint. Ah, uh, see, she's pulling out some pastels. pastels. I want this to look like a totally random selection of different colors. Just all thrown It's like a together. patchwork pumpkin. for like a patchwork look. Not a pumpkin hey. patch, but a pumpkin of patch is <laughs> as if the 
pumpkin is kind of like quilted. Got all the colors roughed in. Now watch this. Boom. Cleaned up. Got Ooh. another couple of coats over all of that. And we are ready for the How exception. pretty. So not only is each patch going to have a different color, but they will each have a completely unique pattern on every single one. Oh, wow. Okay, that is really awesome. And um, I really admire her that she's like, okay, I'm going to come up with a different pattern for each one of these patches. That is ambitious and I love it. I can't wait to see what she does. Now, did I realize at this point what I had committed to by deciding to fill this entire pumpkin with like 30 unique patterns? No, no, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> I was blissfully unaware. <laughs> oh, this will be Just fun. Oh, great. Time, now I have to come up with all these patterns. In the world. You fool. I love this black and white dot one though. It's so Okay, cool. I love also, that one. I need that to is so base. cool. That is like my middle school aesthetic. Throw in some simple patterns as well. You know, let's do some good old rainbow stripes. Yeah, no, you need to do some simple patterns with how many you'll be doing. Green patch. Then I thought Let me take a look at this last one again. I added an outline. Oh Girl, my. You, me. you gotta move on. Now is not the time to fixate on tiny details. Okay, back to the strawberries. This I feel like she has a tendency to do that. Time. So cute. Okay, Adorable. Next. I just totally made this up as I went. Love the some outlined, some not look. Moving on to some yeah, theories. Yeah, that's cool. One thing that was slightly annoying is that because I wasn't planning it or sketching it in advance, I kept creating slightly awkward spacing. It's not perfect, and I don't like it. Let's say it's part of its charm. It's yeah, I think part of the charm of patchwork designs is that it's not perfect. But as a fellow perfectionist, I understand where she's coming from. Still but since it's not my work, I, I love it. <laughs> quite a few black and white patterns to kind of bite through that color. Just I'm only hard on my own work. I'm able to admire the inconsistencies in others' works. Color. <laughs> yes, sprinkles! Gotta have sprinkles. Sprinkle patch. Oh, Woo. I've made this flower patch that I absolutely hate. Oh, it is so ugly. Why do oh, you that hate patch it? Is making it worse. It looks like spiders and snakes. I hate it. I mean, I'll say it's not my favorite pattern she's done so far, but I don't hate it. While we're waiting for that mess to dry, let me head on over to the neighbor and see what we can do. Let's oh, finish cute. I love I the mismatch of styles. Black and white floral patch on that purple again, but just did it a little bit differently. It's still not my favorite, but you know, I do I'm like it better. For not yeah. hideous this time. I went on to this drip patch, which is kind of different. I mean, not different for me. I do rainbow drips all the time. But yeah. it's definitely not I love her drippy designs. For a quilt patch. I mean, when I did my squishy makeover, I did a drip design with it. So, um, yes, I am for this. This is the point where I'm like, okay, I've been working on this all day. It's time to do some simpler patterns. So, hearts. Yes, Good. Okay, little Take it easy. Oh, amazing. And now I have made my way down to the bottom of the pumpkin. How many so hours do you think this took her? Possible. So, we definitely don't need to do anything super crazy down here. This was like 2 o'clock in the morning, and I, I needed to stop. Oh but my. I had put so much work into this freaking pumpkin at this point. So I tried my best to finish this out strong. Uh, apparently my idea of finishing out strong is these uh, beans or <laughs> amoeba. I love it I, though. What is, what is that? This is my brain at three in the morning. Finally, each <laughs> Mine too. patch is filled with its own unique pattern. That is so boy, cute. What a that was to finish off the design and really create that patchwork. Yes, I was hoping she'd do that. And then draw little stitches every so often to make it look like they're all sewn together. So good. It's so good. I didn't draw a pattern on the very bottom patch. Don't come at me. It's it's the base and it, and it's solid Yeah, no, color. it's fine. You want the base to be solid because it's it's three o'clock in the morning, okay? And then it was done. You don't need to oh explain yourself. I mean, this, this that is so look, cute. Okay? I love it's it. It's a huge chaotic clash of random patterns and colors. Definitely not everyone's style. I mean, she has a point. It's definitely not my style, but I love it because it is so her. Now the last pumpkin I'm going to do. <gasps> I mini pumpkin, yay! Mini. So I grabbed some tan paint. Uh, I'm going to paint the entire pumpkin one solid color. Mini pumpkins are so cute. Off. Now I am going to repaint this stem with a lighter brown to give it more of like a cutesy look. And then mm -hmm. I noticed there's this gap under the oh, stem. Oh, that, that was very 
very poorly made. So I tried to just like shove some paint into that crevice. I'm going to do something so predictable, so basic. It's not even funny. <laughs> Drips down the side. Pink drippiness, like sauce all over the top of this pumpkin. Yes. Um, and then I'll just toss out some <gasps> sprinkles. sprinkles because this is going to be a dessert pumpkin. Oh my, it's like a donut pumpkin. I, had to. I just had to do it. It took a small fraction of the time. As the it's so cute. I love it. I love how different they each turned out and I'm just so happy oh my. with a bunch of them. They are so cute. I love them all for their own unique style, but um, the cat is definitely my favorite. I love that she tried something different with it, but it's still definitely her style. Which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, let me know if you prefer to paint or carve pumpkins. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like, and if you want to keep watching, there should be another video popping up right here. <laughs> if you haven't, be sure to subscribe to become a part of the ineffable community, because you are ineffable. <laughs>